Hey everybody, it's me, James again, back with another video, and it's going to be slip joints, but first I'm going to talk to you about the, not this, but I'm going to tell you what happened. Uh, I haven't made a video in like uh, two weeks, maybe a little bit longer, and um, basically um, took our cat to the uh, vet, and um, just to get her fixed, and she has some serious issues with uh, um, the anesthesia, and uh, she wasn't right, so we kind of freaked out and uh, took her back to the vet, and uh, it turns out that uh, the anesthesia screwed up her heart, and uh, so we were worried sick about that, and um, so basically... Uh, we had to take care of her, and she pulled out of it. She's good now. She's on a medication that she'll probably have to be on for a few months, maybe for the rest of her life. But basically what we found out was she had an enlarged heart, and the anesthesia pretty much almost wrecked it. And since she was acting weird and we took her back to the vet, um, she pulled out of it. So, and that's pretty much that. Kind of a picture here of her. And then the next thing that happened was um, my dad was complaining of leg pain. So we um, took him to the dock, and I just figured it was just leg cramps. And uh turned out, uh, you know, they, they gave him some medicine for cramping muscles, and uh, it didn't work. So they tested him again and found out that he has two blocked, or he has a blocked artery. So if you can see this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. there we go basically turns out my dad has a blockage right around here and right around here so he's kind of having to go through uh, a lot of surgeries and things like that two arteries are clogged 100 percent that's why he was having leg pain so we're dealing with that now and uh i'm going to be dealing with that for until he has a surgery so that's the reason why I have not been making videos, not because I'm lazy, but because I'm stressed out. Anyway, now that you all know, let's go with today's topic. Uh, everybody, uh, I've done videos on Case and GEC and uh, Queen, but so far we haven't done one on uh, Buck. So here it is. When you think of Buck, you think of this, the Buck 110. And um, we're not doing a uh, video on the 110. Uh, this is a hunting knife that is uh, well used. And um, it, uh, let's see, 110, right. And it's a lock back. Eh, it's not really a, well, it's obviously not a slip joint. But this is what you think of when uh, you think uh, buck knives. But um, we're going to be talking about the slip joints now this one we'll talk about a little bit later but here is uh, your slip joints made by Buck now I don't know if a lot of people I mean I'm assuming people know that they make slip joints I hope they do um, for, the, for a while I, I never really knew they made slip joints and uh, when I found out I was like well let's get one and uh, you don't deserve an easel this one does so anyway that's what you think of when you think buck you think this guy or you think the really big hunting knives which that's not what i was cleaning what i was cleaning was an old charade if you're into it it's an old charade um hunting edition uh hunting heritage collection life member somebody gave me this for actually giving him a deal on some tires when i was a kid left it in his will for me uh, a buddy of mine um his uncle needed some tires. I happened to know where someone was at. Got him a deal, and uh, he left that in the will. When he died, his name was Uncle Bob. He gave uh, gave me this knife. But anyway, when you think buck, you think big hunting knives, or you think uh, the the classic one ten. And uh, so anyway, we're going to talk about the slip joints. Um, I started off with this one. Uh, we worked at a shop, and this guy always got into it with him. And uh, he gave me this particular 
well, he didn't give me this one, but he gave me this particular model. This is the Buck 309, um, and I believe they call this the Companion. And this is a synthetic material, black synthetic, and um, nickel silver bolsters, I, be do, I do believe. And it has two, two back springs and two blades, two relatively small blades. Made of 420 stainless steel, which is, I find it to be relatively easy to sharpen with a little practice. I'm not the best person to sharpen knives, but not hard. But I had one of these, and it was made, I think these were originally made by Camillus back in the day, when Buck was first starting out. And I had an old Camillus one. You could tell because it had a long pull. Let's see, this one has a nail nick, but the long pulls are, well, long. They're the long, skinny pull, if you don't know, which you, if you're watching this channel, you probably do. I don't have a knife around me right now to show you. But um, the nail nick would be long. So basically, nah, I can't really show you. But Google search it if you don't know. Long pull, nail nick. Um, but uh, it had that. And I was playing with it, and I sharpened it, and I used it quite often at work. And uh, I broke it. And um, I thought, well, I took it to a local knife shop. And uh, they told me that they'll probably replace it with a new one like this. And I was like, well better than a broken knife so I sent it in for warranty and they sent me a brand new knife and uh, the fit and finish today is ju just about as good you got some gaps here you know but this is not this is not a um, $80 knife you know uh, this is a user this is a knife you you really can use and abuse and buckle stand by their warranty which is what we you know everybody we love the warranty and um, it's a good knife I've never had one of these let me down. The reason why the first one broke is because my dumb self stuck it into some wood and started going boo, 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 and it, and it broke. And then that was the first time I realized, you maybe you shouldn't use a knife as a toy. And uh, here we are now. But they, they warranted it. The, the blade was literally broke about here down. And um, they replaced it. And uh, so their warranty is great. So I'm like, well, these are great knives. So maybe I should uh, upscale and grab one of these uh, brands, you know, one of these. This one's called the Lancer, and uh, these have brass bolsters. They're a little bit dress. They're a little bit dressier. Um, the bolsters are integrated into the liners. This one has two springs, as you can see. A little bit of gaps, but like I said, this knife is like a thirty-five dollar knife, maybe twenty-seven, and uh, twenty-seven to thirty-five. It's not forty-five dollars. This one's got really skinny blades, um, and this knife, I'm telling you, is something that you could put in your little watch pocket, and you could pull this out at work and not scare people, you know, this thing is tiny, I mean, this thing's real small, compare this to the big, gigantic 110 that everybody's familiar with, this thing, I mean, it's tiny, it's like a baby compared to it, so this makes a great pocket pocket watch knife a little pocket in your jeans it's nice it's got these uh, little rivets here um, this wood I think they call it diamond wood or something I think it's like a composite or it's impregnated or what do they call that stabilized wood um, red in color it looks great with the brass bolsters like I said these knives have really small blades you're not going to scare anybody with this this is also a 305. Buck 305 Lancer. Made in the USA. Made in the USA. Made in the USA. All these guys are made in the USA. Except for you. Now this is what I was going to say. This guy. This guy was a... Uh... Now it's got great snap. Go figure. It's a Buck 379. I think this one's called the Buck Solo. And then you're like, What? Now, this knife was really inexpensive, so I'm not crying, all right? But it's, it's made in China. Now, here's my little story with Buck. On Instagram, you can follow me, Slip Joint Guy, and uh, one day they had a picture of a canoe, a Buck canoe, and I was like, dude, I love canoes. I mean, I'm carrying a queen canoe right now. I love canoes, it's my favorite pattern. So I just asked them, 
Is that canoe made in China? Because after buying this one, I knew that Bugs make knives in China. And um, the guy deleted my comment. And I'm like, dude, just asking you a question. I ain't making fun of your brand. And so I asked it again. He deleted my comment. So then I got upset, of course. I said something that lines up. Must be embarrassed that you're making knives in China, blah, blah, blah. Of course, that got deleted too. And um, so I guess me and Buck, when it comes to social media, are not friends. But their warranty service is great. Absolutely great. Their knives are great. Just because a social media guy is, you know, not cool, doesn't mean their knives aren't good. But this guy, I saw this guy at a um, local knife shop. And I didn't buy it, but I liked it. But my girlfriend bought it for me, and I carry it often. Um, it's got a great snap on this one, the spring on this one. I mean, it's just one blade. You can see I've been carrying it. You drop this brass, and it will nick. If you carry it with coins and stuff, too, and bend over, it will nick. Um, but it's got a, it's a great knife. And um, brass, uh, brass bolsters again that are integrated. They're, they're, they're basically machined pieces of brass that are um, doubling as a liner and a bolster. It's kind of neat. Probably just ease of you know manufacturing. Single blade. Not a very big... This one's a relatively big knife. Let me pull out the measuring tape. Alright. You're looking at like... You can see there about open at six and three quarters. So six and three quarters and closed. You're looking just under four inches. So this is a relatively small knife. Now compare that to this guy. This guy is just barely over, okay, it's two and a half inches. All right, so this guy's tiny. It's two and a half inches. So it gives you an idea. Now this one's like the happy middle. This guy's right at just under three inches. And this is the companion. This is kind of my favorite. Um, I carry this one quite often. And uh, it's the first and it's my favorite. Now here's a little picture of a uh, knife cutting through uh, a nail with, you know, somebody hammering a knife through a nail. And the, the reason for that, um, the reason for that is uh, Buck started off as like a heat treating type of deal. And uh, when they started making knives, um, they kind of advertised them as, you know, they're strong enough to cut through a, a nail. And um, I'm not going to do that. But uh, if anybody kind of knows anything about metal, a nail is um, mild steel. Um, so it's actually kind of relatively easy to hammer through something like this. I mean very easy to bend, you know, so hammering through it's not, I mean, I'm not going to do it because there's a chance of it damaging the knife blade, um, but that's where that, that's where that picture depicts, it's a knife hammering through a nail, uh, showing that the heat treating is great, which I guess it's a good illustration, and it's a really good sales pitch too. Now these fancier ones just say buck, and I guess because this is more of a dressier knife and um, this one is more of a user this is a working man's type knife it's stronger it's plastic um, don't have to worry about losing it dropping it or denting it and that one's Chinese and um, yeah but the, my girlfriend bought me this one as a gift and I absolutely love it and I carry it all the same a little bit bigger it's got the best snap it's got the longest blade besides this guy um, and these dressier ones are nice. And usually they're only like 3 or $4 more than the synthetic ones. So if you like the look, buy it. You know, get it over the synthetic. But if you want something a little bit less money and uh, like a 4 5 $6 is, you know, not worth this. Or you don't like brass. You don't like wood. You don't like these uh, protruding um, pins. Then, you know, get this guy. This guy doesn't have all that. Just one little pin. And it's not brass, it's nickel silver. This is also nickel silver, and you can see it's tarnishing. Nickel silver does tarnish like brass. And, uh, yeah. This little guy, it's got like a little flaw. You can see there the uh, the scale kind of 
doesn't fit flush with the um, liner, but that's okay. I mean, this thing's tiny, and, you know, it's kind of made for to be a workhorse. So, that's these. And, uh, you know, I'm like almost up to 80 subscribers now, so I'd like to thank you guys for subscribing. And um, a lot of you guys came over from uh, Patty's Potato Peelers, and so I thank Patty for a uh, shout-out. Appreciate you. And all of the guys coming over to check out my channel if you like slip joints. Um, so this video is going on for like 15 minutes, which I think might be the official longest channel. But I had to tell you about my cat. I had to tell you about my dog. I'm not not my dog. <laughs> what am I talking about? I had to tell you about my cat. I had to tell you about my dad. And um, just kind of, you know, explain why I've been missing for two weeks. And uh, I'm going to try to stay on top of it. We've got some more doctor's appointments to deal with. The cat's cool now. My dad, though, we're going to have to... Uh, this Thursday, we're going to take him to go put dye in his veins and everything. So if you could, say a prayer for him uh, so he can be in good health. And um, hopefully his uh, he's going to have to have that uh, stent put in and all that in his legs and everything, the arteries in his vein, or legs. So if you could, give him a prayer. Keep him in your prayers. And uh, hopefully he pulls through it without problem and no complications. And, you know, he's 75 years old. So... Hopefully, uh, he got another several years in them after this. So, but anyway, if you like these buck knives, check them out. Definitely worth the money. Definitely worth the money. And uh, a little bit cheaper than the case, but eh, they're great. They're great knives. Um, check me out on Instagram. Subscribe if you like this uh, channel, like these videos. And uh, check out my, U or not my YouTube. Uh, you're on YouTube. Check out my uh, eBay. I don't have anything for sale now, but I put some stuff on there and it kind of helps support the channel. So anyway, we're at 17 minutes and uh, you guys have a uh, wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.